stay tuned. You might see this big nine pointer hit the ground in Ohio late season. Whoop, whoop. Hello and welcome to another week here at 3B Outdoors. Man, have we got an action packed show for you this week. We've got three whitetail hunts in 30 minutes. First, we're going to Kentucky with a young lady named Kara Green, daughter of Mr. Lionel Green, and he's running the camera. Next, we're off to Ohio with pro staffer and my good buddy, Dustin Coates. Last but not least, we're back in Ohio with Mr. Lionel Green. This time, he's in front of the camera. Don't go anywhere, you don't want to miss a minute of this. I'm Freddie Neely, and welcome to 3B Outdoors. Hunting. Fishing. Hunting. Fishing. For 10 years. A decade. <laughs> Real. This one out here might have a little more pull. What a beast of a smallmouth. <laughs> Gotta throw a tight line. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're here in Ohio. Yes, sir. It all happened so fast. Boy, the big dog just put the smoke on a big old hole. See, I told you hunting carried us for 10 years. Anybody can sit in a tree stand, eat crackers long enough, and something will walk by you can shoot. Any two-year-old can use a floaty bobber. Wow. <laughs> Thank you for 10 awesome years. 3B Outdoors is brought to you by Visit Kingsport, Tennessee. Retreat, play, Relax. Hey guys, this past 2015 season, my dad finally decided to take me bow hunting for the first time. He was been putting it off because I'd go and shoot my bow and then I'd put it down for a little bit, then I'd shoot it again, and then finally I was like, okay, I'm going hunting. I want to go and I want to shoot something. So finally I got, I practiced good and he finally took me out there and the night, the we went on Christmas Eve that morning and we went back there and we had deer all around us the whole morning. Me and Dad thought we might come back here and try to shoot a Christmas Eve deer. But we left the house this morning and the wind was good. And then we got back here and it shifted and it's like literally awful. It's coming up from the behind us and going right towards where the deer come from. And we still had a five pointer and a doe come up here and eat and feed and We've been nose jamming them, so this stuff really works. But we never got smelt, we never got caught, just didn't shoot. <laughs> but got my Matthews reason. But hopefully sit up here and see something else. You're watching 3B Outdoors. <laughs> there was actually too many deer for me to actually draw my bow back. He actually handed me my bow from the cameraman's chair down to me where I was shooting and I still just could not get a shot at whatsoever. So that morning passed, we went back Christmas Eve that evening and it was just one doe all by herself. She just walked in there like she was on a string and she turned broadside and I already had my bow and my release in hand and I was ready to go because I was not doing what I did that earlier that morning.
Okay. <laughs> well, just slung an arrow at my first deer with the bow. <laughs> I guess I made an okay shot. Not okay. You said I bunched her. I don't know what that means. It was bull. Okay, turn that off. <laughs> I just drew back and let it go. And I was like, I do not know if I just hit that deer or not. <laughs> I looked up at him and I was like, did I hit it? Like, I was so confused. Got her done. I'm gonna give her a few and try to go find her. Hey folks, that's what we would like to see right here. Like to see, take your kids out hunting and this is what you get right here. See, you take your kids hunting and you won't have to hunt your kids. This is her first deer she's killed with archery equipment. Can't wait to get down and find it. Arrow's covered. <laughs> she's bleeding good, girl. Mm -hmm. See, that's her there. Finally found her, about 150 yards from the stand. Um, came to water, of course. So that was my first kill with the bow. I'm very pumped. I'm ready to ready for the fall of 2016 and get it back in the tree. Thanks for watching. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Here in Northeast Tennessee, the mountains have a story to tell. An exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes. A genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more. Come and write your own chapter in this mountain tale. Whether it's shooting for fun, shooting for victory, or the one chance at the trophy of a lifetime. Trust Spothawk, the world's toughest archery products. Abingdon Olive Oil Company now open in downtown Kingsport on the corner of Main and Broad. We have 68 varieties of olive oils and balsamic vinegars for endless combinations. Come in to experience the taste of good health. Mercury engine tap. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Check us out on the internet at 3boutdoors.com, plus YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Me and Rob, we head to Ohio, and we come across a, a lease up there that we've had for, this makes our third year. We decided we was gonna go up there and put in some food plots. We went up there, we put actually two, two good-sized food plots in. Been getting some good pictures of some, you know, some fine deer. And we had probably three different shooters up there, what we considered shooters. So I head up opening weekend, go up and film myself, don't have any luck. Since a couple weekends after that, me and Robbie, we head back up. And if I ain't mistaken, he hunts first day or so, and then the next day, um, next evening, I get to hunt and he's filming. Okay, we're back in Ohio. It's about the middle of October. Me and Robbie's come back up here. Weather. It's really broke and it's got fairly cold today. The guy's about the low 50s, but tonight's supposed to get down in the low 30s, high 20s. So hopefully this evening we may have something move good in here. We're still getting some good pictures and some good bugs in here, so I don't know if we're gonna set.
step back and see what happens. We had this young 10 pointer with a kicker on it. And we really didn't want to shoot him, but he's kind of one of those deer where you couldn't pass up, especially filming. And I mean, he's, he's don't get me wrong, he's the best buck I'd killed to that day. Told Robbie that the first buck that's gonna come in will be that young 10 pointer. And sure enough, it starts getting about to the fine point of the evening where you're really getting up on the edge of your seat. I happen to look back over my shoulder to my left, catch some movement. I told Robbie, I said, he's coming in behind us. Here comes the little, the, the nice 10 with the, the little kicker on it. He comes in, everything works out perfect. I actually make a shot that's, I'm shooting about straight down at him and shot's a little high, I spine him. So therefore, you know, when you do that, you don't want to let one lay there and suffer. So I end up getting another shot and putting one in him. As you can see, you know, it's a great buck. Hey, me and Robbie were sitting there watching the dog go up a hill. I just kept hearing something behind us back here from the same place me and him when he was in the, when he was hunting and I was filming. We got busted by a good, I mean a good nine pointer in here that come in from the same place. We kinda didn't get busted by that one. But I tell you what, hey, thank you for wrong. Appreciate it, buddy. Now got out of the stand. We waited for a little bit, see if anything else might come in and get Rob a shot. So we decided we was just gonna go ahead and get down for it. Got so dark on us. So come on, we're gonna go get him now. No cambo, just smooth and goodness, and you can't beat spot hog sites. I've had a lot of good times in the woods and a lot of memorable times. But I tell you what, this one right here and having Rob behind the camera for me, that's uh, probably the best moment in the woods that I've had. Tell you what, that's awesome. This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. In Northeast Tennessee, you live the mountains, live the music, live the sizzle of local flavor, live the heart of its people, live the adventure at every turn while you retreat, play, relax.
Olympics. When you visit Kingsport, you live Kingsport. Lightweight power you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. There they are. There they are. Oh, God, something spooked them. Was that a bar brain? No, it was my stomach. I'm hungry. Well, this turkey hunting is way overrated. Let's go down Kearney's and get us some of that roasted chicken they talk about. You know what Mike says, seven days without chicken makes one week. Let's go. Hey, let's go. I'm all for that. You want a good home cooked meal? Come to Lynn Garden Restaurant in Kingsport. You won't be disappointed. And here's the proof. Hey, 3B fans, check out our new website at 3boutdoors.com where you can stay in touch with social media feeds, learn more about the crew, view all past episodes and bonus footage, plus the much anticipated online store where you can purchase quality 3B Outdoors gear. Stay tuned. You might see this big nine pointer hit the ground in Ohio late season. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. It's late season, and uh, Richie, he gives me a call, and uh, I think it was around the middle of January, somewhere like that. He said he was going to go over and put out cameras where he killed the, the Big Ten. He called it Big Ten, but it's actually 12 pointer. It's a good spot over there, I'm telling you. But he said he was going to go put out cameras and see what was left after the gun season. So time went by, and he texted me. He said, Hey, got some good deer on camera. He said, some of those target bucks, uh, they've made it through gun season. I said, man, I'll tell you what, you really like to hear that kind of news. Oh, it just, it, it fired me up right there. This particular day, uh, it was January the 19th. Man, I tell you, it was cold. It was 14 degrees. And, uh, it was cold. I had warmers in my pocket and all that good stuff. Well, folks, here we are. It's January the 19th, late season. Over here in Ohio, trying to get her done. Trying to get in here for us. Well, we got a front I'm supposed to come in here tonight. Not very, not very a big front, but I think it's going to be good tonight. My man Richie come over here and ran some cameras for me. He told me he had a good one on camera. He said, better get over here and get her done. Mr. Choo Choo Trains. Mr. Choo Choo Trains up here in the stand trying to get her done this evening. And it is cold. I think it's like 14 degrees. So we're going to hang in here. Like I said, we don't have too much cover around us, so we're going to have to keep talking to the minimum. We'll give you a play by play if we can. Hope we can get her done tonight. You're watching 3B. I mean, right off the bat, didn't film it, but here comes a, a whole herd of does. <laughs> I mean, there was a bunch of them. And uh, I couldn't reach over and touch, hit the record button on my remote control because I was scared to, I was scared to move. They was that close. I sat there freezing to death and uh, sat and sat and sat. It was about five o'clock and uh, here comes a little buck. Real, real little, real little buck. He comes in and feeds, and uh, he feeds around there for a little while, and he leaves. Another buck comes, and uh, here there's uh, two of them out there feeding, and they get to sparring and everything, and I got, to, I got to looking at my watch. I said, wow, this started off, started off good already. There were some more bucks filtering in, and I got to looking this way, that away, and uh, I said, "Wow, this is going to be a good evening." I think. Here comes a 
pretty nice 10 pointer and he, did, he didn't present me a good shot, but that's, that was really the one I was wanting to take. But Richie said there was another one in there broken off nine. So uh, a little bit later, here he comes. He comes right up the drainage, across the creek, comes right in, gets him a bite. And uh, I slid an old eastern arrow through him. here in Ohio. I tell you what, it doesn't get any better than the late season in Ohio. Holy crap, I'm about to fall out of this tree, hoss cat. Didn't have time to get my GoPro on. I had deer all over me. Finally got an arrow snuck right through there on that deer right there. I couldn't hardly dial that phone. I tell you, my hands was, it was so cold out there. I couldn't, I didn't know whether to call Richie first or Freddie first. <laughs> I think I better call Richie. I said, I come to my senses. I said, I, I think I better call Richie because <laughs> he's closest. Freddie's already in Tennessee. <laughs> As soon as I get this camera and everything situated, we'll be right back with you. You're watching 3B Outdoors at its finest. Wow! Wow! This portion of 3B Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Luminoc, the original self-contained lighted knock on the market, patented to accept replaceable lithium batteries and designed to work with all carbon aero shafts while producing the brightest results during any condition. Easily the most durable illuminated knocks to allow up to 40 hours of continuous use and are packaged and crafted to perfection for hundreds of shots. There's only one true Luminoc. Luminoc by Burt Coyote, made in the USA. Hey 3B fans, check out our new website at 3boutdoors.com where you can stay in touch with social media feeds, learn more about the crew, view all past episodes and bonus footage, plus the much anticipated online store where you can purchase quality 3B Outdoors gear. Abingdon Olive Oil Company now open in downtown Kingsport on the corner of Main and Broad. We have 68 varieties of olive oils and balsamic vinegars for endless combinations. Come in to experience the taste of good health. have a story to tell, an exciting account of outdoor adventure, full of fishermen's tales from our finest rivers and lakes, a genuine page turner, brimming with places to retreat, play, relax, sure to leave you wanting more, come and write your
your own chapter in this mountain tale. I get him on the phone. And I told him I, I stuck an arrow in the old broken nine. He couldn't, buddy, I tell you what, he couldn't believe it. Him and Justin Rawlings come over and we walked around there and found good blood and ended up finding the deer. So, folks, I got so daggone tore up, left my bow hanging right on the bowstring. Forgot to even get it off the hanger. Oh well. At least I didn't leave it here all night. I didn't know this till I reviewed the footage. If you look behind me, you can see all kinds of all kinds of <laughs> white tails going in behind me. I didn't know that till I seen the footage. Hair and blood. Blood here. That's a good late season buck, ain't it? Hey, uh, it pays off to be uh, persistent. <laughs> well, heck yeah. That's why we wear the Under Armour. Considering the shape I was in, wife had a wreck, my hunting time was limited, and uh, had to get out while I can. Heck yeah. I want to thank Richie Mason for coming over here and helping me look for him, Justin Rollins. Wasn't much tracking. This is the way we like. We got oh, right, right to him. Heck yeah. If you haven't bow hunted before, I'm telling you, you need to get your bow and try it because there's, I cannot explain the feeling you get after you release that arrow on a white-tailed deer or anything you shoot with a bow. I'm telling you, it's just, I just can't explain it. You'd have to see for yourself. But anyway, I've had a blast here at 3B Outdoors. I want to thank Freddie Neely and Nathan Light for letting me come aboard. This is my all-time dream to be on TV one day. Wow, I told you it's gonna be action packed. Three whitetail hunts in 30 minutes. How about Kara Green up in Kentucky doing a little quality management and her dad, Mr. Lionel Green, getting to run the camera? Well, when you get to spend time with family, it doesn't get much better than that. Then Dustin Coates up in Ohio laying the smack down on one of those good old biggins. Last but not least, Mr. Lionel Green in front of the camera, which is always a pleasure getting it done in Ohio. Well, we're out of time again this week, folks. Join us again next week where we'll have you somewhere on the water or in the woods. I'm Freddie Neely, and thanks so much for watching 3V Outdoors TV. We wake up in the morning before the rising sun. Load up boats, rides and reels, Like me. <laughs> well, when they put these steps in this room.